Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Switzerland on a three-day official visit. BNP chairperson Khalida Zia admitted at Evercare Hospital, health checkups undergoing. And the people from all walks of life are greeting the two males, the new males in Borishal and Kulna City, with flowers. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV News. I'm Fozia Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is visiting Switzerland on a three-day official visit to attend the conference titled World for Work Summit, Social Justice for All. She left Dhaka for Geneva on a Biman Bangladesh Airlines flight at Titanium. The Prime Minister is scheduled to arrive at Geneva International Airport at 5 p.m. local time. After the formalities at the airport, he will proceed to his tour accommodation. In addition to attending the conference, the Prime Minister will also meet with the heads of states of various countries and heads of international organizations. The Prime Minister will participate in the plenary season of the World for Work Summit on Wednesday. On the third day, the Prime Minister will participate in the program titled New Economy and Society in Smart Bangladesh, organized by the World Economic Forum. She will then attend the civic reception organized by the expatriate Bangladeshi community living in Switzerland. BNP chairperson Khaled Azia, who is under treatment at Evercare Hospital in the capital, is undergoing health checkups. The medical board detected to his treatment will meet today. After going through the test reports, the next course of action will be decided. BNP Vice Chairman Dr. Zahid said that Khaled Azia's condition is stable. Doctors have kept him under close observation. Earlier, Khaled Azia was taken to Evercare Hospital in the capital due to sudden illness on Monday night. The members of the medical board formed for the treatment of Khaled Azia decided to admit her to the hospital. Later that night, he was admitted to the hospital. Awamili candidate Abul Khair Abdullah has a smile of victory as the new mayor in the Borishal City Corporation election. After receiving the results of the vote yesterday, the leaders and activists present burst into excitement. Today, after dawn, people flocked to the new mayor's house. Activists and ordinary people gathered in front of his residence with a piecemeal procession. Many of them had the flower grants in their hands. Meanwhile, after the victory in the Kulna city elections, the party leaders and activists are flocking to the residence of the newly elected mayor, Talukdar Abdul Khalek. People from all walks of life are greeting with flowers. The crowd in front of the mayor's house in the city's conch market area has been increasing since morning. The mayor said that this victory is a reflection of the will of the people. Awami League nominated candidate AHM Khairul Zaman Litton of the Boat Symbol is a continuing public relations on the occasion of a city elections in Ratshahi on June 21st. At this time, he is again asking for votes by boat to, to make Ratshahi city more developed and beautiful. Apart from this, he is giving various promises to the voters. 14 party leaders, including Metropolitan Avamilik President Muhammad Ali Kamal, Joint General Secretary Asanul Haq Pintu, were present with him during the public relations. Jatiyo Party supported candidates Saiful Islam Shopun and other candidates are busy campaigning. Select City Corporation election has gathered. Candidates and the supporters are spending busy time in June 21 vote campaigning in the morning with the support of Awami League's nominated mayoral candidate Akta Aranaru Zaman Chaudhry. Leaders and activists are led by Shunabganj District Awami Jubali Convener and the chairman of Shunabganj Shadur Bozila Parishad, Kairul Huda Chapel took part in the boat campaign in Medina market area of the city. They distributed boat leaflets of the voters and asked them to vote for the boat. No 
Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi said that while pulses and sugar are being given to 1 crore poor families every month at lower prices as the prices of daily commodities are on the rise due to the global situation, he expressed hope that it will be possible to hand over the products of this month to everyone before it. He also expressed hope that 5 kg of rice will be added to it from next month. He said this at the launch of a TCB's product sales program in June among one crore family card holding low income families across the country at a colony bazaar in Tejka. <laughs> Viewers and our international news. Donald Trump is spending the night in Miami, Florida, before the appears in court there on Tuesday charged with mishandling national security files. The former U.S. president flew from his golf club in Badmaster, New Jersey, to his Trump Doral Resort near Miami. Mr. Trump is facing dozens of charges of illegally retaining classified information, including some about nuclear secrets. It is the second time this year he has been charged with a crime. Mr. Trump, campaigning to make a return to the White House in 2024, has denied under wrongdoing as he faces the first ever federal criminal prosecution against a former U.S. president. He appeared muted but on the first threat as he strolled into the speak house at his Miami Golf Resort on Monday evening. Ukraine claims of further advances on the southern and eastern front lines. Kyiv also demanded the recovery of seven areas in Zaporizhia in a counter-offensive. Ukraine says its troops have taken control of new areas in Bakhmut too. The national flag of the country has flown in the reclaimed areas. Ukrainian soldiers said that the Russian forces tried to resist by shelling. But they are forced to retreat gradually. He said that recently 90 square kilometers area has been restored. Alia Kiev announced the repatriation of three villages in Donetsk. Cyclone named Biborjoy formed in the Arabian Sea is heading towards India and Pakistan. The Indian Meteorological Department said in its weather forecast that the cyclone will hit Kutch in Gujarat, India and Karachi, Pakistan on Thursday. The work of evacuating common people to safe shelter has already started from Kutch. Tourists are banned from entering Tithal Beach in Gujarat. Besides, the fishing boats have been ordered not to go to sea for the time being. Meanwhile, air traffic was disrupted at Mumbai Airport yesterday due to the impact of the cyclone. On the other hand, civilians are being evacuated from the Sindh province of Pakistan to a safe distance. Viewers now news on sports. Bangladesh and Afghanistan will meet tomorrow in Mirpur in the only test of the series. In the press conference in the morning, coach Hinduski said that the Tigers will play with an aggressive attitude against the Afghans. There are three paces and two spinners in the team. The Afghans will leave for India on June 19 after playing the first test in Mirpur. They will return to Bangladesh on July 1st. The first ODI will be held on July 1st. Five at the Zera Matilda Stadium in Chittagong, the second ODI on July 8 and the third ODI on July 11. Both parties will go to Silhet on July 12 from Chittagong. The two match T20 series will be held at the Silhet International Cricket Stadium. There will be two matches of 20 overs on July 14 and 16. So we see the benefit of them now they are taking um, lead roles in, the, uh, in their team. So if we find the channel, we need to stick with that uh, and, and then until there we see that potential to come to fruition. We are about to enter the headlines once again. 
Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Switzerland on a three-day official visit. BNP chairperson Khalida Zia admitted at Evercare Hospital health checkups undergoing. People from all walks of life are greeting the two new males in Borishal and Khulna city with flowers. Donald Trump will appear in court today charged with the mess halting national security files. And Bangladesh to face Afghanistan tomorrow in the only test of the series at Midpur. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News online, visit YouTube slash MyTV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.